Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the PlayStation Plus podcast episode 11. With me, we have the OG crew, Zod Rider and Mad Max. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So great to be here for some more gaming discussion. This is wonderful. Gaming episode, news. episode 11. Yeah. <laughs> where, where are you viewers at? If you haven't heard of the place, you got to you gotta spread the word on the PlayStation Plus podcast. We got oh, things, we, yes. Wheels are in motion. Things are happening. Uh, not all the panels here, but we are. We're happening. <laughs> Isaac, Ed, where are you, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're, they're sleeping <laughs> on the couch. Uh, too, too, too much game. Well, what time is it? What time is it? Get it all right now. <laughs> He's working on a new game, the sequel. Yeah, I, he might be. He might. He be. might be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna have to. E- I'm gonna have to email him, man. I wanna. I wanna get a. I wanna get a copy of that Friday the Thirteenth oh, game. I, I wanna play the Trump game because I love Contra. <laughs> I, I, that looks, I'm not, I'm it it kind of it kind of reminds me. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of Metal Slug when I yes, I watched the yes. preview of it. I'm like, I want to check that out. This is Cyberpunk Week, right? Cyberpunk Week, Keanu Week. <laughs> ready to go man I've, I've been hearing mixed things about this game dude oh man yeah i've been hearing really? a lot of mixed things on twitter yeah me too mm-hmm. well don't never trust twitter like, oh what, man what time it makes things like it's, oh, it's just, just a lot of, a lot of politi- uh, political people politically incorrect things or whatever <laughs> oh okay they, yeah. well cd project red doesn't play that game i heard oh mm. uh, oh they 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 they've gone uh, it's like, supposed oh, to be yeah. apparently there's some real world issue stuff in there or something. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like give it to. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Some me. thought. Some story. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? You gotta draw from something. I mean, yeah. it's gotta be in everything, really. Uh, it's, Gosh, it's, I, it's, I, it's, man, I, I'd hate for it to be in everything. It's like it's, that's if the, it jumps the shark, though. That's the that's the line for me. If it goes too, if it goes too over, where it's not even fun. Or just yeah, even, yeah, right, and it just and it's just like an in-your-face political message. Solo right. droid rights, you know. <laughs> oh uh, my yeah. god, yeah. <laughs> Droid, yeah. Droids are people too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a if what you, up, have Ray to, Ray? you have you have to Ray Ray. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm I'm great. Great. <laughs> I got my uh, Thrustmaster controller. Awesome. Let me see it. It kind of reminds me of, like, I I don't know what it reminds me of. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of an old GameStop PS2 controller. What the hell? With the way the buttons are. You say it reminds me of GameStop controller? Yeah, of a GameStop GameStop PS2 controller. This is is some some premium shit. You gotta turn my my new premium controller to GameStop. (laughs) I'm gonna have to find I'm gonna have to find my PS2 GameStop controller and show you what I'm talking about. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, that looks just like my old controller, actually, because I knew it looks so What the hell? What the hell, bros? They're using an old design right now. No, this is some (laughs) Right, right. They're reverting we're reverting to the old uh the game the game the GameStop (laughs) classic look. <laughs> Where is the one I had? I think I paid cool. over a hundred bucks for this. Let me see it again, Max. I got it used. There's some scratches up at the top. It's you oh, know man, uh, Best see. Buy. Best Buy does the open box thing. Uh, it feels really premium. It feels heavier. It feels <laughs> like there's. It feels like it there's like. Let me, quality let me quality it, components you know. in here. Um. I thought I would, you know how I like the PlayStation uh, symmetry with the dual analog stick. I haven't changed. Sh- shut the hell up! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah, screw, bro. Screw, screw all you. Uh, Dude, does, that, I... does that do? Does that do this? <laughs> that, that yes. <laughs> oh my god! Exactly, exactly what yeah, I'm talking about. Of course, they've had years to improve. And you have a black, and you have a black one, a pure black, a pure black one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that controller, hundred bucks. <laughs> well, I, I this switches. You could change that so it's you know, cha- but I haven't even done it yet. I've gotten so used to the the Xbox way now. These buttons are so much better. I hate the jelly bean buttons. They hurt my fingers after long periods of gaming. Um, these like, analog sticks. It says on the box, uh, next gen analog. This is smooth. There's like no grind at all. It's just like really premium stick. Oh, like, oh, oh, like a like an eight bit though. Uh, How's that? 
Yeah, real premium. Uh, the rumble so smooth and good. Yes, I don't. I still don't know uh, about the haptics yet. If you, uh, all those no, no one watched my damn video. That's the problem with YouTube. You spend so much. I'm, I'm not criticizing anyone because the people are busy. <laughs> What's this uh, video? That's mine. That's your video. <laughs> I don't remember that part. Well, that, that was you uh, just talking about how the P uh, PS. Five controller works. I was gonna say. PS5. Oh, okay. You did watch. It. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Uh, yeah, of course uh, I watched so, it. Yeah, so it it uh, it does work. I but the it, the rumble doesn't. And I I it wasn't an easy fix. I had to manually go and like uh, assign each direction with the re snow. But that device, man. Oh, I you had, to, you had to configure the controls for it. Yeah, it like some have. I think because some are the, the community. When they have a firmware, they might have like you have an app on your phone, so yeah. they might have a preset thing. Oh, this is for this game, or this is this controller. But since it's so new, I had to manually um, assign each button. But it works except for the haptics. So uh, that makes me feel like the haptics is definitely way different than Rumble. So it can't like force itself to work. Uh, it's a next next gen thing, although. Um, the, the rumble on this is really good for me. I, I really have to see if the, this haptic stuff is really going to blow my mind. Uh, with the, I hope the it does. I hope it's got great haptics. But, because... but this, this is now, besides the fight commander for fighting games. Fight commander. Um, with the bigger buttons and the nice direction pad, this is my favorite controller of all time now. Although I do have one problem when I'm, because it's not, it does, it does have the rumble. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work wirelessly, which is I'm fine with. But when you have this plugged in, and then I plugged in my headset right here. Yeah. Uh, I tried it with Brian last night on a party chat, and he couldn't hear me. And I'm like, is my new headset broken? And then I plugged it into the regular one, and it worked. So I, I don't know. There's something I'm not putting right. Oh, man. Um, what kind of headset do you have? I just got – I mean, it's an okay it, – it was just whatever was on sale. It's not like a name brand. It, it's, it, it still feels like – nice com like nice wire and it's not like a real cheap feel but it's still not the best um this though this has i don't know what the hell is wrong with sony and microsoft and all the rest this has to be this should be standard that latches in yes because if you pay yeah. for especially the and i don't even think the elite series 2 has this yet if you have a connection and a lot of a lot of pro gamers like the connection because they don't want any discrepancy with their input at all they want zero lag at all and then this is going to if if it's on flush with the outside of the controller it's going to become loose wiggly break and cause problems in the future this has this should be standard on controllers i'm sorry oh yeah 100 percent. I, I always got anno annoyed with the xbox uh, one controller where it just it kept slipping out so easily <laughs> right because i i don't like to use batteries and stuff i use uh i have a um i have a plug that just takes usb and USB C charging right by my couch and I don't even plug it to my console. I've never that, used that. I've never used a controller, guys, that requires batteries. That's a deal breaker for me. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> well, man, the Xbox 360 one's was ahead of its time back in the day, man. I, I love that that console, and I yes. didn't even have a problem with uh, doing batteries. To me, I thought that was just a regular thing until I played PS3 and PS4. <laughs> I mean, I like the options. The Xbox has the it does have the option for batteries, but you also could plug it in. You also could get the battery packs, I think. Um, I have not uh, seen Godzilla vs. Kong yet. I have not seen the trailer. <laughs> oh, did they release the trailer? I, I, that's what a conscious telling me. They oh, I saw some two shots on Twitter. Oh, wow. I wasn't sure if... Let me see. Is it online? Well, HBO... Uh, this is supposed We're to probably... be about gaming, but HBO Max is like... They're going the hardcore. King. <laughs> they're releasing everything on this streaming service. Fatality. Oh, no, I can't wait. Oh, is that? No way this is real. Let me see. I want a Godzilla versus Kong next gen game. Yes. Wouldn't that be great? Like with next gen graphics, Godzilla versus Kong, and it's like a fighting game. Would that not be like. Contra, are you just talking about the HBO Max trailer revealing the titles? Possibly. 
I mean, it's, I'm, still, I'm, it's still exciting. It can't. It's still I exciting. want to see Matrix Four, but I'm not. I don't want to be excited for it because I don't know how. how like what's what's going to happen? It's going to be. It's going to be another. It's gonna, pro, Matrix Four is probably going to be another uh, politically in your face. Yeah, uh, I know that's what I feel like it is. I don't. I don't. Want to unfortunately, play. that's most likely the well, scenario. You're not so. going to get around that. I mean, look at the 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 life of the directors. I'm not against it or anything, but the directors have. On through some major, major changes, pretty cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but, 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 like, major you know, changes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, since they directed the last three, I mean, that was always them. Uh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They might refer to themselves as that too. Now, I have no idea. Uh, but I'm I still hope I'm, that their creativity from the first and second one is there in this one. The third one wasn't that great. Third are one's... they? Are they actually doing? Are they doing the fourth one, or is somebody else doing the fourth I one? Because one I... of them is. I think one of them is bad. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The other brother, or... <laughs> the other one is the other bad. sister is not. Yeah, they're the Wachow the Wachowski sisters. Yeah, so I so I don't know. I don't know which one. I, I forget which one is doing it. Yeah, but I remember them saying hey, that it was no shame, be one no of them. shame in their game. But I'm like, oh really? Does the other one got changed too? Like I was surprised by the yeah, they both, they both. No, I didn't know. That. <laughs> okay, more power to you with Chowskis. <laughs> But we need a game. We need a Matrix game. For oh, sure. yeah. I'd love to have a you know, You know, my my favorite of the Matrix video games that came out at the time, since this is a video game show, was Path of Neo. Yeah, I, thought, yeah. I thought that that was the best game. When, when my favorite thing I, where I would be geeking out so much where you would see where you would be where you would be uh, Neo and you're trying to navigate through the office to escape. Uh, the Smith and Morpheus is narrating, telling you where to go. Mm -hmm. That to me was like the coolest thing ever at the time because I was thinking, my God, they've managed to like totally recapture the feel of the actual original oh, Matrix. Yeah. I mean, the that game's the game's really good. It it has some like technical issues, like it's kind of wonky with some of the animations, but it's still really good. Uh, I think I have it still. I have it on my. I know yeah. I have it on my ex my modded Xbox. My yeah, original. Cool. They made oh, a yeah. Matrix game. They oh, should yeah. do an MMO. Yeah. That'd be great. I actually prefer them to just do a series. Like, instead of four, oh, yeah. I would love a Matrix series. Um, where where it could be almost like an anthology where they could where they could do it kind of like how they did Animatrix. So then every every episode could be could have like its own themes but take place within the Matrix. That'd be really cool. That's yeah. cool. Okay, well, with the emulation thing that you were talking about for yeah. Xbox, I saw that you can play PS2 games. Yes, you yeah, can. I'm, I'm and the PS2 games look fantastic. Yeah. I'm, I'm nervous to, to, to do this, though. I know how to do it. I mean, I know how to start to do it, but I'm not a good technical guy. I just don't want to do anything that's going to cause me problems playing my real stuff. I would actually get it. I would actually get it for the ability to I do know. that. And so you were right when you told when you said, you know, when you mentioned it and you told me, well, yeah, you might you might want to get one now. And the way I'm thinking about it is at some point I might just for just because I can do that, because I am an emulation uh, junkie. I yeah, love I got to get a hold of you sometime about that. I got to get a retro pie and get, I got to get the hook, the Zod hookup. I got I I got you man I, I got you man if you get a Raspberry Pi four when you get a Raspberry Pi four send me your address and I'll send you an image that I personally uh, curated you okay. will love it man I will make it for you and send it to you all on right. a, just a, a micro SD card and all you have to do is stick that micro SD card into your Raspberry Pi four plug in your controller and you'll be off to the races brother. All right, oh, I'm, I'm not taking it far. What's that? What is that? What's a Raspberry Pi for? It's a it's a little it's a little main it's a it's a, a single single board computer. It's a little main board in a little. Uh, actually, this he has them lying uh, around. This little brick <laughs> right here. This is a Raspberry Pi four. It's a little. See, it's a real tiny little piece of yeah. uh, machinery here, and I've got a hard drive connected to it. I've got, you know, controllers, a keyboard, a mouse. So you can just, you can install. Output. It's essentially like it's almost like it runs on it runs off of Linux. 
Okay. And it and you know, so you create all these, you know, people create all these custom images for games. I've even got an, a micro SD card that has Google TV on it, and I've installed all sorts of like apps and I've got Netflix running off of it. The things I've been able to do with this Raspberry Pi 4 are are incredible. I can't I can't believe you're able to do as much stuff as you're able to. It's a, it's a pretty powerful little device and it's you know um here's here's where this this could turn dangerous though for fans of this type of thing on a series because this is current next gen is now current gen never has emulation been this fast like for example uh when nintendo and sony are going to try to charge you to play these games that aren't naturally backwards compatible on their systems like gamecube games and ps2 games which are not abundant on these platforms right now are not abundant on sony ps5 in nintendo switch you can if you do their services but then on a, a series x or s you could pay 20 bucks to pay for a developer app and do it three this is why it, it the, the reason i say it's dangerous is sony or nintendo might actually step in and be like no you can't do this now because it's it's this. they might do they might do a firmware update that'll prevent that right so it's amazing but ha- what is and you know if there's a way Nintendo's at least especially Nintendo if there's a way Nintendo could respond they will uh, because it's different when you have like some of these other not not uh, main companies doing these consoles that have you know that have the mod community supports. But when it's a main console, when it comes out and it's right now, it's not like years later. Uh, I I have a feeling that this story is going to develop, especially as uh, listen, modern vintage gamer. He's a big YouTuber on here. He does all kind of mods and stuff. Uh, that's who found out first, I believe. And then yes. everyone's following the story. And then he, he he even said, "Oh, this just happened," and I was going to wait a month to see what else develops. And then the developer community they jump on this shit. They are figuring out ways to play all these games, and they get the retro arc uh, platform. They got retro the- arc on there, and retro yeah. arc, and and retro arc is is ba- is the base for all of this emulation. Yeah. Once you get, because once you get get uh, retro arc to work on any of these systems, you're good to go. You can you right. can run anything. Literally, I got I got retro arc on the Amazon Fire uh, Stick. Mm-hmm. And you can and you can you know and you can run you know everything up to up to Sega Dreamcast through through Retro Arch. You can even run through Retro Arch. You can run GameCube and some other ones and PlayStation Two, but you have to have a powerful device to run that because mm-hmm. PlayStation Two is uh, PlayStation Two is hard. It would be hard to run. Like I don't think I'd you'll ever be able to get. Uh, PlayStation 2 to run on like Raspberry Pi 4. Mm. I don't think it, I just don't think it would be powerful I, enough. Series but, S though. But you could overclock the Raspberry Pi, Pi, Pi 4. I, I figured it out. I got this weekend, Max. Uh, speaking of Raspberry Pi 4, I overclocked the Raspberry Pi 4 and now I can run uh, Sega Saturn games perfectly. It's well, unbelievable. It's well, unbelievable. The this was the game changer, though, is the Series S's power for uh uh-huh. emu- The Series S can run. The Series S can run PlayStation Two. Series S will probably be able to run PlayStation Three, GameCube, all of it. Uh, you isn't know, moving so forward. Specs, What's like, that? Isn't the S lower in specs compared to? The yeah, series? but it's it's still better than the PlayStation Four and Pro and all that. Um, yep. so it's gonna, it, I mean, I won't know for sure. Cause I'm not a big technical guy, but you, you have to imagine if it can run games that are premiering on series X, just with the, uh, not like sometimes the quality dips a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're going to be able to handle all this other stuff. If you can and do they, if then, you can do it on S you'll be able to do it on X. Yeah. That's the thing. Cause I, it's I'm the just, same. It's the same I'm software. Not- I'm nervous about breaking something and breaking my system by trying this stuff <laughs> out because I know getting the app it's like twenty bucks to buy the uh, Max. I, I learned how to do all kinds of stuff 
by breaking so many computers. So yeah. I feel I feel your pain. I, I know I, exactly I what you're saying. I can't afford to break this thing. It's so. a learning. It's a learning experience. But, plus, know, I like, have all the system. I have a good GameCube collection, PS2. I'm like, is it really worth it? There's like. I'll oh, wait till, but they I'll look, wait but they look so out. good. Yeah. They, it looks, it looks good now based on the video footage he was showing. He was showing, uh, I think he was showing Metal Gear Solid too. Wow, the graphics looked almost looked almost current gen. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Matt, you're not you're not too much in the emulation scene. You're you're just like current stuff. You you, you focus on. I mean, uh, gosh, I don't know. I don't have any old games anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, my old games are gone. I, I would have if I've known like this would have been a thing. I would have I would have definitely been all over it. Okay. There's a lot of old games I like playing. Like yeah, I, I mean, like Star Wars Bounty Hunter with Django Fed. I mean, I have that on my PS4 now because of the PS Plus or PS Now or whatever. Oh, oh okay. yeah, PS Now. Yeah. Yeah. I. I, I have to say for, for me, it's all it's always about I, I consider myself to be like a retro gamer first. Mm -hmm. So experiments like that, like if I had the series X S or X, it'd be dangerous for me, guys, because I would be all over that hack. I would mm -hmm. be like, you know what, this is what I'm gonna do. And I would devote an entire weekend to tinkering with it, getting it to work. I mean, that's what that's cool stuff. I mean, wow. I, I used to I used to dab a little bit like I, but I took a long time for me because I'm not good technical stuff to get my original Xbox modded. I bought one modded and then I had to do an update and it took forever and I forgot how to do it. I'm just like I'd, I'd rather pay someone to do it for me. <laughs> um, but I, I'm really interested. Modding is great. I love. I'm not. I'm, if there's a legal way to buy, way to buy it, I will buy the legal way. But you know what? A lot of this stuff is lost to history. A lot of these uh, things are 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 down to copyright owners and in all kinds of licenses. Right, right. I, the licenses and it's all so tangled, and there's so many gray areas with it. I think the reason why uh, the you know the emulation community, because what the emulation community is about, it's about video game preservation. No, it's not all about that. It's not all about that. Some people want to are just cheap ass gamers. <laughs> so. but, but when you but but no 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 but 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 to the point of what you were saying, a lot of these games, if you cannot purchase them, if you cannot literally go out and purchase these games, yeah, and you'll then never be able to. the companies are not the companies are not making money from uh, the the sharks selling these games on eBay. For exorbitant amounts of money, so they're not they're not profiting, whether or not whether the games are being emulated or not. So, my, my, in my opinion, these companies should take advantage of the fact that the emulation is so good and it's out there, and they should market the games themselves. If they have the licenses, they should exploit the licenses and try to get as much profit out of the old games as they can by being reasonable about it. And what I mean by that is I look at Nintendo Switch. People complain about Nintendo Switch all the time. If you're a retro gamer and you're an, and you're a Nintendo Switch owner, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to go online with your Nintendo Switch and play every single Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and N64 game that they've ever made right there on your switch you should have access to that library like netflix mm. but they don't but they don't they don't do that they feel like it's great to you know every every six months they'll give they'll give you three or four games they'll give you yeah. you know a game here a game there and they think that that's going to satisfy people and then they wonder why people are you know all into the retro scene and you know they do do like me they get a they get a retro pie where they can play the entire library of whatever system they they that they ever had as a kid growing up, nostalgia is key right now. It's king. People are people will pay for nostalgia. So the fact that these companies are not exploiting that to me, it's like a no. It's like a no brainer. Well, I don't, I don't the, understand it. The, Nintendo's just they're they're doing too little. They're doing way too yeah. little. Like you said, that the technology exists to release all this stuff now. And they would rather wait and give like a put three games on a card for Nintendo 64 for Zelda anniversary and make people pay for that when uh, the alternative. Uh, it's, uh, it's like why not? Why not do like a Netflix style 
system for your old for your old back catalog we have things you don't have to keep every single title but you but by doing it like netflix style and giving subscribers access to it because don't you i don't have a nintendo switch so i don't know but don't you have uh, a thing where if you pay a monthly fee you get access to yeah it's just, games? it's just not enough it's just not it's yeah like... that's what i mean i mean why i mean don't they think that they don't they realize they would sell more units too if they did that because me as a retro gamer if i know i can buy they make a more nintendo money by, switch. by holding back they make i mean this is one of the strengths of microsoft is uh, because and they they were put in a position where they had to appeal more consumer friendly. Uh, this whole Game Pass, they this is some this is like a band aid to the problems they started with the Xbox One yeah. generation. Yeah, but, but it, I, again, it whenever, for consumer. yeah, whenever you do the backwards the backwards compatibility thing, or you do, or you offer access to your back catalog, you're going to have more goodwill from your fan base because they're going to look at that and say. Well, great. I can play these old games. These old games are not going to be forgotten. I can access these games. And that that's what I don't understand. If you own the rights to it and you're not doing nothing with the property and it's just sitting there, that's why when you go on Internet, uh, what is it, Internet uh, Archive, you go on Internet Archive and you have access to what's considered uh, abandonware. After a certain number of years, video games, video games that go out of print that are no longer available become abandoned wear. And when they become abandoned wear, you know, it's it's free reign for anybody to go in and, and grab them and scoop them up and, and do whatever they want with them. Communities, huh? They keep the game alive with the, the modders like they yeah. actually keep it going and they like, you know, add things that everybody kind of yeah. wants. Yeah, you've got people. You've got people still developing games for the original Nintendo. You've got people developing games for Sega Genesis. You've got for systems that have been, you know, done with for decades. And you've got and so and right now you've got you've got people making new games. Why? Because they want to keep that alive. There's still there's still a market for that. There's still a hunger for that sort of thing. And so when you're a company and you have control over that property, and you don't exploit it, and you do what you know. What what Nintendo does, where you trick trickle down, you know, once in a while will give you a game. I think that that's you know basically you're it's you're being negligent with your license because you know you have a fan base that wants these games. Well, they, so, they keep they keep their stuff at a premium doing that though. Uh, like if you make it too accessible, the cost goes down for the consumer. Well, you're not, but you're not making it too accessible because if they do, because if they were to do it, do it like the Netflix model. Netflix doesn't keep all the same movies up every month. They switch things up, switch things out. So that's what I'm talking about. So, for example, you could say you could say that at any given time, uh, Nintendo is offering you a thousand games on their platform to play, a thousand uh, different Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and N64 games. And every couple of months, they switch up the games. They take certain games out, put certain games in. And you know, you know, by doing that, you're recycling it, and you're not, and you're not constantly making it available. You know, it's only going to be available for a certain amount of time. And you know, just like how Netflix or or HBO Max or any of these services will tell you, okay, this mo this movie is leaving after is is leaving next month. Well, this version of 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 Zelda, Ocarina of Time, or whatever it is, if you want to play, if you want to play Zelda. This is your last chance because it's disappearing next month. You know what I mean, Max? So there's a way to manipulate it so that the demand will still be there for those games, and but you're still making the product accessible to your to your fan base, not s outright sliding them the way Nintendo is doing right now. They're they're it's making the it terrible. The pro problem is Nintendo simps. Nintendo simps buy everything, and they you know they make it too much money, not not improving really. Uh, they make too much money. I like the Switch, but it's not they. The, they're making money on the hardware, um, unlike the other competition. And then leaving, and like not jumping into the online. I think they intended to do online at the beginning, and they do have a service. But you know what? Like, you know what? Over. I think you know what system. I think Nintendo 
had hit a home run on the best thing that they did ever. And I think if they would have continued that, I think they would have a much higher standing today with everybody across the gaming community. I think the, you know, the Wii virtual console. Oh yeah. I mean, but that's the, that's part of the problem. They stayed, that was, that was break. That was groundbreaking. And then just like the beginning of Netflix where uh, Netflix started the streaming show starting the streaming model and then all these property holders are like oh we can make money now where the properties were just sitting there and they weren't making you know on streaming that's the same thing happened the game so you had all these amazing old games that no one's played for years or the carts are super expensive or turbo graphics and then you could get it for five bucks and people were buying it, enjoying it and then all the property owners like oh i want more of a cut i want more of a cut so that that was lightning in a bottle of virtual console. It'll never happen again because yeah. now all these property owners are aware that they can make money post launch or post generation. Yeah, like, like I and I love that you brought up the example of like Turbo Graphics because I believe right now uh, Konami owns the rights to Turbo Graphics outright to everything that they to most of their titles. So if Konami wanted to. They could actually create their own uh, virtual, like Netflix type of thing for that library for people to be able to access those games. I mean, they're not doing anything with that. It's like they they released that uh, you know Turbo Graphics Mini system. I have that, <laughs> and they didn't even and they didn't even include you know the best games on it. They they did put through like a, they did what everybody does. They threw like a handful of games on it and said, okay. We're gonna we're gonna put this out and you know like like you said with Nintendo the simps for uh, Turbo Graphics are gonna pick <laughs> this up and that's what you're gonna and that's what you're gonna get they're gonna eat it up and and they're gonna be satisfied with whatever you get. I am a big Turbo Graphics fan. Turbo Graphics to me is one of the greatest video game consoles ever released, particularly the CD uh, the CD game. I love it. I love the Japanese games. I love all of that. I'm I'm su I get super excited. I didn't get a Turbo Graphics Mini for me because to me, I felt like they omitted so many great games mm -hmm. that it wasn't worth it. I've got so many other ways to play those games, and and now uh, I think I think Analog is coming out with a a, a new version of the Turbo Graphics CD console, and it's it's only going to be I think it's only going to be about two hundred bucks. And but it's then I'd play. have to track down copies of those games. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, but that. But or is see, there that, an EverDrive? EverDrive. But that's why. But that's why Max, Raspberry Pi, brother. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because you can play. You can play all those games. You can. You can. You know, rip your own. Rip your own uh, copies and and put them on and put them on the Raspberry Pi. It's like every game that I every Turbo Graphics game that I love playing, I have access to it. And I'm happy. I don't need to go buy the Turbo Graphics Mini and feel shortchanged, you know. Yeah. This is yeah. I, I'm I'm a big fan of retro. I'm just I'm happy with my Series X, but I'm also like, what do I look forward to now? What what's what's coming up? What's left? The Cyberpunk's coming out. I know Mad Matt's got it pre-ordered. Uh, I'm gonna wait on it since there's a lot of talk. Oh, about you it. are waiting on it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna watch some games. Yeah, the so. politics turns everybody off when you hear that kind of thing. You, you're oh, like, really? The last, the last thing you breaker? want, the last thing you want is is for something like that to be in your face while you're well, trying to you're enjoy a video jealous. game. Well, you're gonna be jealous of me playing it this week. Hey, I'll, uh, I'll watch you play. <laughs> Give me a review. Uh, yeah, I'll watch your I'll watch your video, Max. I mean, Max, if you Max, if you say it's good. I'll get it. I, I trust your. I trust you. So if you go on there and you start playing it, and you and and it and it comes out great to you, man, I'll well, be I, sold. I, I'm. I don't want to go into PC gaming. I can't afford it. And my, my wife's in the PC gaming, but I can't do that too. And I just like the console experience. I like. I mean, the consoles you have to download crap all together now too. But I don't want to worry about. Yeah, my, the consoles are just as bad there, as PCs. But there's a now. game that I really, there's a game I really wanted. They announced it for the Series X, and they're not saying when it's going to release. Is the second extension? I wanted to get that game really bad. Uh, there's another game that looks interesting. It's like it's called Riders Republic by U Ubisoft. Uh, it's more. It's like 
like X, it's like classic X games, but you could do everything like downhill biking, snowboarding, everything. I hope oh, wow. it's good. I sometimes when they throw shit at the wall and try to include all these types of gameplay, nothing feels good. Right. Uh, so I hope it succeeds. Uh, I haven't really got too many Ubisoft games lately, uh, but I'm re- I'm looking forward to that. But that doesn't come out till February. Um, I've been playing Mortal Kombat Ultimate, but then I took a break, Zod. Because the new Soul Calibur uh, fighter came oh, out. Oh, I know, I know you're you're loving you're loving Soul Calibur. I was thinking of you yesterday when I was playing the original Soul Calibur on Raspberry Pi Four. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, all I kept thinking was, oh yeah, Max, because you because the way you were last week about the new Soul Calibur, I'm like, yeah, Soul Calibur still holds up to this day. The original. But what, what what's what's preventing you from jumping into the new version though? That's what I was curious. I, don't know, about. I still like I still I still really love playing the original. I don't know. Okay. I'm, a, okay. I'm a retro guy. I don't know what I don't know what to say. That's why like even I know, even, but you you jumped at the Mortal Kombat Ultimate, so that got you. Oh oh well yeah well yeah because because here's the thing I'm a lifelong Mortal Kombat okay. game. They Mortal Kombat fan. They could release. They could release a big turd and call it Mortal Kombat 12, and I, I'll be all over it because I'm that much of a diehard. I'm one of the I'm one of the Mortal Kombat simp's. You have to understand that to me, Mortal Kombat is is an incredible franchise. I love everything about it. I've loved it since I was a kid. I'll probably die a Mortal Kombat fan. Well, so. With the difference to me is. Uh... That I think Soul Calibur, the new one, is the one of the most beautiful fighting games ever, especially on playing on the Series X again. Yeah. Uh, but the difference there is just the single player content. Uh, NeverSoft just kills it with their single player stuff now. Yeah, I love and I love single player content too. I have to be honest. I prefer I prefer to play it single player than and then playing stuff online. I, I tried to record some uh, fighting online. On my Series X with Soul Calibur, and it was choppy as hell. Still, I got a I got a hardwire with it. Yeah, they're they're prob- they probably throw some sort of scrambler sing- signal in there to make it <laughs> to screw it up. No, so no, that you can't. Just, the, just the game, just gaming online was choppy. So wow. I don't know what Namco's doing. Um, they need to get it. Max. <laughs> no, I, maybe I gotta I gotta not do the Wi-Fi for that. I gotta just no. give up on. My, Wi-Fi is not the you way. You gotta give up. You gotta give up an Ethernet connection for that. Well, I can do it. I just I'm like uh, maybe that, that I mean because I've got I've got you know my PlayStation Four hard, hardwired Ethernet. You know because uh, you know doing anything Wi-Fi. You know with that with that with your uh, video game console is hit and miss to say the least. Matt, Matt, you still is that your PS4 controller there? Yeah. You're still sticking. You're still sticking with it. You're, oh yeah, yeah, all the way. So comfortable with it. <laughs> Amen. All right. Amen. Uh, I mean, I, 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 cool. I mean, uh, it's just you know, I'm just I'm just gonna hold on to that till till the day I die because the controllers are so expensive. I, I <laughs> yeah, know. Every, everything everything is so expensive, and just you know, pig to piggyback off of what we were saying before, one of the main reasons why I was so drawn to, for example, you know, the MVSX is simply because. This is uh, the first time I feel like, you know, Neo Geo has kind of stepped it up and said, let's put out something that actually is substantial, that's giving people value for their money. I mean, when you have something like that that's being released and they're giving you 50 games right out of the box and all you got to do is plug it in and you're being, and you're also going to have the ability to, you know, later on to add more add more games to the system i i think that that i think that that does that kind of thing deserves to be rewarded because it shows that they care about the fan base and they want to give the I, fan base I'm something that they can i'm interested in but i have no i don't if i start getting arcade cabs my wife's gonna kill me like actually murder me and like i have to <laughs> right like it. right like uh, to me I, I i won't ever like I, and i and i've said this before you know i i've, I've been like I've been like I'm getting I'm get I'm getting the MVSX because of you know nostalgia and because I'm not really I'm not really too uh, enthusiastic about any of the next generation consoles that have or current gen consoles that are out right now and my idea is I I don't have any other room 
for any other cabinets in my small mm-hmm. apartment. So once I get to once I get the MVSX, that's it for me. You know, yeah. I'm kind of I'm kind of at the point where you know, come what may after that, we won't, because... we won't see Zod for months. <laughs> uh, where's that review coming? Whoa, well, it's here. It's gonna come back. <laughs> I intend to, you know, and the thing is, I'm I've, I've I'm trying to construct, trying to decide how I want to do the review. In which way, I'll probably record the video with my phone, yeah. so I could so I can do the, you know, so that I could do the angles properly, and I could show show some gameplay and show you know the it, show how the cabinet looks you, and you all that. A, you have a girlfriend or a wife or. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Is she, yeah. Is I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna have her. Is I'm gonna have play her against help. you. I, I might. I might have her play against me. I okay. actually might have her come in, come in and play against me because the MVSX is a two player. Yeah. It's me. X game. Whatever. <laughs> that that'd be a great uh, click. I want. I want her. I want. I want to play. I want to play against her on the MVSX on like uh, King of Fighters or something. And I just want to ha- have her like totally kick my butt. And I want that to be on there, and and that that that's gonna be the we, video. <laughs> I just <laughs> well, you know, as SNK, uh, they did have news this week too. Uh, King of Fighters 15, they are actually working on. It's not just a rumor; they confirmed it. In January or February, they're gonna actually release an actual trailer. I can't uh, wait. I, I, I love think, it. I think I, I think it. it's gonna be 3D though. Like the the King of King of Fighters fourteen. I don't care. I'm I'm also uh you know a really big uh, SNK fan. Uh, so I King of Fighters. Have you, have you played the new Samurai Showdown? Yes, I have. Oh, okay, you like it? Yes. Okay. Yes, I listen. All of these properties, I you know Samurai Showdown, Fatal Fury, King of Fighters, Metal Slug, uh, you know uh, Last Blade. All of these properties that that you know uh, SNK uh, puts out, I, I love. I'm like a big. I'm like a big SNK fan, and so it's ironic that I never had anything. I could never afford anything Neo Geo. I me never either, could, either. but I always loved Neo Geo so much that it to me it was just like, man, I want to have something Neo Geo. So for me, it's like the MVSX is kind of my way of of you know you know living that nostalgia and try and and you know putting putting that dream to rest because now I'll actually have something official that's Neo Geo. Because I never got into I couldn't get into the minis either. The little mini Neo Geos that they put out. Those just look too too gimmicky to me. Not that the MVSX isn't gimmicky because it's definitely a gimmick, but but the little but the little mini ones just didn't appeal to me. And I actually the one time I kind of had a little bit of remorse about about the MVSX was when I when I saw the uh, you know you, the Arcade Stick Pro. Do you know about that, Max? The Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. That Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro has gotten almost unanimously positive reviews from everybody. Like in terms of the stick, the controls, the the buttons, and you know the, then they got that you know Hilo stick hack where you can hack it with a uh with a usb uh drive and and you can have every single neo geo game and a bunch of other arcade games and stuff right there on the stick kind of like a raspberry pi 4 but ultimately um you know that was the one that was the one time i kind of thought about it i'm like but i kind of want the you know the cabinet i want to have the actual neo geo uh bar top so um, I get that. you know, yeah. so I'm. Th- that's kind of where I'm sitting. But I, I do understand the sentiment that the wife would kill you if you started yeah. buying uh, buying cabs. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> Why well, I, I I also have stuff like I got that that Reese though. Uh, I was having so much fun hooking up stuff to my Series X. Uh, to get, <clears> I got to do more race. You, have you guys ever had experience using a race wheel at home? No, uh, never. No. Uh, no. Uh, how is it? Uh, it's a lot of fun. It has the rumble in it too. Um, she, my wife, even enjoyed it. She, she does not like racing, uh, racing on a controller. She likes wow. the wheel. Uh, I, I also heard, and I got to, I got to do more testing videos because I heard you can even use the re snow in the wheel for racing games that don't even support racing wheels. Like you can actually have uh, Mario people- Kart on the Switch with a wheel. Guitar. On freaking Call of Duty, they've done the freaking guitar and they just <laughs> play and get kills. Oh really? 
go nuts with that that stuff. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> I, I have a lot of experiment I could do. Um, I also, I, I do like some arcade sticks too. I'm going to do some co content on that. Um, you guys aren't, you're not, you're not too much in the peripherals though. That, I love, oh, that I, I love, I love, I love arcade sticks. Okay. All right. Um, I, well, I recommend, I recommend a racing wheel for sure. If well, you, with the Xbox, uh, series X, like, is like, do you need the race note to use the old controller or can you just like, does it work on its own or not? If the one X, you mean like one X control, like our old the Xbox one controller. Like, yeah, those work? those work naturally. Naturally, okay, cool. Okay, but yeah. uh, if you wanted like like for my for me example, I like Sony, but I have Xbox stuff now, so I wanted to get. I actually knew I was going to get the re snow. So when I was picking out a wheel, I was like, I like the way the Sony wheel looks better, and it has the Sony logo and for like Gran Turismo and stuff. So I bought that knowing I would be able to play it when I got, although I didn't count for next gen, but fortunately Microsoft does it taken care of with, uh, I'm, I'm curious to see if the reason is going to work on the PS5. I think I I'm with the, the, the pedals on the, yeah, on the, uh, I got the headset. pedals and I got the shifter too, but I never use the shifter. Cause I'm not, I, I'm, if I have to concentrate on that too, uh, while I'm racing it, I'm not going to do as good. How sensitive is it? Like, is it like, like whenever you're turning the wheel? Uh, you get it's like, like it's, 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 it, it, it gives or like <laughs> well, I played it on dirt five. I gotta do, do more racing games to see how it is, but it was like uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because yeah. it was on dirt and gravel. Uh, I, 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 I do have a way to set up to film my you know, film the TV and film me with my mask and a wheel. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that too. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, I've been wasting too much time trying to figure out recording stuff. To make the easiest way with my uh, with my device, I wanted to try to just do the audio right into the recorder device and just plug it into my computer. But I, I think I have to record the audio separately and mix it together. And that is the rumble only a fixed wheel, or is it also on the pedals as well? Like in your feet, just like just on just on the wheel, but the pedals um, have good resistance and they're metal pedals. Um, so and it, like it, like it slide on the floor, like there's a mat, like or something to hold well, it. I, That's I got. I it has uh, on the bottom. It has like these little spike things that you could put into the carpet, like a little switch. But uh, and it has like a for the wheel part. It has like a vice that you can lock onto a table. But I got a little. I got the cheapest one you could get. But I got a little stand for the wheel. I should probably get a better one in the future. Um, I'm I, I I need to use it more. It, it's it's the most racing is if you if you're if you haven't really delved into racing much it's the most realistic video game experience you can have with a wheel too like it really it's close it's close like first person sure you're on a game you know you're on a controller yeah. you're not really holding it like that but I, I did that on Wii back in the day there was a Wii gun and you had to like yeah. aim and form. <laughs> <laughs> but but a racing game i also my tv has a mount that i could just Put it forward and put the TV in front of my face and race like that, like I'm really racing. Uh, yeah, it's all set up. I gotta film that whole experience so you guys could see. That'd be cool. Big That's screen awesome. like, burst, <laughs> or or VR with that on. Oh Can my god, it? yeah. VR. That's I, oh, that's yeah. another that's another element. Oh my god. Okay, you guys want to I can I can actually do that. I'd have to bring my wheel upstairs. Really uh, cool. Put put Gran Turismo in, and put my PS VR headset on all together. <laughs> <laughs> Press modern <laughs> with the wheel. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <laughs> That'll be incredible, Max. I mean, I can just imagine what a game. Could you imagine what a game like Cyberpunk would look like in VR? Mm, I don't know if they have that. But I I mean, I got it for the Xbox. So I don't know. I don't think they have a mode for that yet. But could you imagine what it would be like, like the environments and stuff? I mean, that's yeah. what I'm most excited about for VR. Like the idea that environments are getting so much more realistic and so and there's going to be so there, much more wait. immersion. They put you on a, you know, like like they have it where you can actually move. Yeah, like, like I've done or an, an arcade or whatever it'd be like once we get to that level and it's like really good like games are going to be insane <laughs> well, we're just uh for fortunately we're at the tail end of this pandemic if the pandemic went long enough i think you'd see it more in hopes <laughs> but, oh, yeah. but but 
I think it's going to a little that part, even though the technology exists for the home market. I don't, maybe they do have one for the home market. I don't know. I have to look into it's that. very expensive. <laughs> well, we got to, well, we got, we're going to get to the point where we have inexpensive haptic feedback suits oh, and God. that's going to make VR. Yeah. yeah you're you're going to feel the shots <laughs> and the punches. <laughs> oh my God. No, people are going to use it for other types of intermediate. Uh, yeah, well, we we know that we know that Max, but we were trying not to go there. Uh, then they're going to like, forget video games. <laughs> forget video games. I, I want to feel the haptics everywhere. Oh boy! And then yeah, someone's well, going to well, have an accident. Well, 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 you did. Well, you did. So, well, you did say an accident with their suit. Well, you did. Say, well, you did say that you wanted. You did why say you that not, you wanted your. You while you're in the ER, I got super excited about my haptic suit. <laughs> well, you well you well you did say that you wanted your controller to blow you, so. Yeah, I mean that's <laughs> that's <laughs> next gen. Yeah, I'm disappointed. My my PS5 controller does not do that. Uh, it doesn't even rumble. No matter Wait. how much I play with it, it just sits there. It doesn't rumble. <laughs> oh boy, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of of more games though. I, well, okay, I'll, 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 that's what I'm pissed about because uh, I, I I can never stop talking about this game even though I like playing yeah. this game. <laughs> Cold War. They're postponing their DLC. Why? I think it's because oh. of Cyberpunk releasing. Oh really? <laughs> they're very okay. timid on it because the player base isn't going to be as high or whatever. I'm very really shocked. I'm, I'm, I know the reasons, but I'm really shocked that was a deal breaker for you. For so I mean, come on. I still want to play it. I mean, it's how many hard. years of content? It's like the biggest, one of the biggest <laughs> games ever. I mean, it should be. I don't know if it delivers, but it, I, I everything looks like it's gonna. It's like the biggest game, one of the biggest games ever. Yeah, I mean, for sure. And plus, there's a lot of hype behind it because they kept pushing it back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's. I'm, I'm still gonna play it. Just, I just want to see. Like, I just want to make sure it's what I think it's gonna be, and not what everyone's saying it is. <laughs> well, I mean, I heard the opposite from CD Projekt Red that they're like they don't bend the knee to like. Uh, woke story points just to do and it. And maybe there. maybe the people on Twitter that are complaining are just that Twitty, idiots. that that don't like it. <laughs> Twitty yeah. it's yeah. Yeah. They complain <laughs> about Twitter complains about everything. Yes. Yeah. Um I mean I do too. That's where I go to relieve stress just for fun. Oh really? Yeah I'm bored. <laughs> I just start arguing with people for no reason. <laughs> I, I even turned on uh well I, I also tried this week um Gears of War five which I, I mean, it looks really good. I still, I have, I love, I enjoyed Gears of War, but I haven't really delved deep into it. Like I start playing and I get bored. Um, I, everyone says it's amazing on series X. There are some scenes that look really good, especially with the fire effects. Uh, and then I started to play master chief collection again, just to get back in them. Halo. And I put on halo three and it looked dated. I was like, wow. This, like, I thought it looked better on the Master Chief Collection, but I was enjoying well, it. Uh, they, they, they didn't. I don't think they remastered that one. They remastered yeah. Halo two. Halo two looks amazing now. Oh, I didn't try that one. Okay. Yeah, Halo two looks extraordinary. They and just they, they Halo added three alone. alone. They what? They added Halo four recently, like last week or something, or two weeks ago. Oh, okay. I haven't tried it yet. I really want to try it. I've just been on Cold War a little too much. Yeah. I'm still excited for Infinite. Can't wait for that. For what? Halo Infinite. Oh yes, uh, you're gonna have to wait a while. Although, oh, oh wait, oh wait, that's that's one other topic that I wanted to bring up. I almost forgot is the Game Awards. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna have some announcements. Um, this when is the Game Awards? I think it's coming up. Man, I don't even. I mean, announcements cool, but release dates. <laughs> uh, like I feel like whatever release date they're gonna say, they're just gonna push back again. <laughs> a lot of people, yeah, push back games and not uh december 10th on youtube the same day as cyberpunk mm. oh, really? uh, so that's I'll, interesting I'll out tomorrow or, or a gameplay is getting released tomorrow at least for what i thought cyberpunk got released tomorrow uh or gameplay the or gameplay the the, uh, the, it says the 10th i think for both uh although it's cyberpunk is not eligible for the game awards because that last delay mm. so they're not even going to be eligible uh, which is, they, I'm, uh, I, is it going to be long lasting that the people are going to next year bring it up for the contender? I don't know. Let's see how they 
follow through with their post-release content. And um, unfortunately, one game that that really failed, and I, I enjoyed the game, but I, I, to be truthful, I didn't go back to it either. Was the Avengers? My friend said, "Get Avengers." I got it for PS4. It was fun. Did you hear how much money they lost? It was like uh, seventy million. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they do all this stuff. They, they even do selling points. Buy the PlayStation version. You'll get Spider-Man. I don't even know if they're ever going to get to Spider-Man. They might just... I they hear might have, the they might have to... very, very repetitive. And it's just... Yeah. It gets so boring. I mean, I, I, never, I was never really interested after I saw how swole they were and how they sounded. Like, especially Captain America. With I wasn't stuff. interested when I got when I saw the PlayStation 2 graphics. I was just like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it looks better. It sounds better now. It's just that uh, that the too many have ec – there's an exodus of users that even if they fix the game later, it, there's no fixing it. Like how – you'd have to have a revolution of a game – and plus, Changed everyone it. else is like already focused on other things. Like you got Cyberpunk yeah. right now. No one's. Well, well that. I mean, this is just an example. If you promise too much to get your pre-orders in, uh, consumers could sue if they never deliver on that Spider-Man. Because I bought the Sony one because they said, "Oh, you're going to get Spider-Man free, and then you can't get it on the other systems." They might not ever get to that. <laughs> they they started with Kate Bishop, Hawkeye's daughter. Uh, she is she's new. She's you know, she's downloadable. They should have released this game, game during in game. They would have made a lot more money. It would have been a lot. Yeah, than if they yeah, were. yeah. You would you would think that that would have been the time to release it. Yeah, yeah. but it probably wasn't ready by then. No, <laughs> it um, didn't even look ready. Thor's hair looked weird. <laughs> the, the other the other thing that's been happening is uh, my one of my favorite genres, fighting games. Uh, they've been fumbling, and this is the time to shine. Next gen. When load times are shorter and DLC is more easily, you know, you could justify it more with these fast machines. Um, Killer Instinct's not back. I just found out Dead or Alive 6. I like the Dead or Alive series. It's not my favorite. Uh, they stop. They they have a whole, like, you know how they have roster images and then there's gaps for when you get the next DLC. They just, like, shut it off. Like, uh, well, this is our final DLC. And it doesn't look nice. The the roster, there's a big gap of where they were going to do another season. Um, <laughs> so, so, just, Cal yeah. so yeah, so 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 caliber has to get it together. I mean, I think they got some momentum with this last uh, character, but they need more single player content. Um, so the only one, that's, the the ones that are really changing the game are Nether, Nether Soft with Mortal Kombat, which is amazing, and. Why can't the other game companies get it together like Nintendo? Like they have guest characters, and then the next game they bring they they bring those guest characters, and then they add more. Why can't other companies do this? Uh, and that they just all all Nintendo's really doing is just adding more and not taking away. Every video I, I'm going to do a separate video on this on my channel. Every game developer for fighting games when they do a new version. They start scratch with the graphics, and then they then they bring back characters that you had free in the last version. You got to pay this time, and they just they start scratch every time. Whereas Nintendo just keeps adding more and more, and that's why they're so successful. With Nintendo, did you see that uh, they canceled a, a Smash tournament or a Splatoon thing? Like they they, they got rid of uh, this. They don't like competitive apparently. Like they got rid oh, of really? the yeah. That's why there's this free melee trending on Twitter for Switch. Oh really? Yeah, apparently Nintendo does not like competitive play. Oh, and, uh, I didn't know that. But <laughs> I got to get back into Smash Brothers Ultimate. I haven't played yeah, any of the DLC. I still don't have all the characters. I want to get all the characters. I have most yeah. of them, not all of them. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, got but, the ones that I wanted. I wanted Pac-Man and uh Mega But 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 this is what um these fighting game companies need to do is take the Nintendo model and just make Ultimate, you know. Soul Calibur Ultimate, yeah. uh, Dead or Alive Ultimate, and De Dead or Alive has had okay. Ultimate. Like anything that has like a long sequel, like Call of Duty. I mean, they have a Call of Duty Online, but Call of Duty Ultimate, where all the maps, all the guns, you know. Right. I mean, that's yeah. what everyone yeah. wants, and that, why you know they start from scratch. They're like, oh, we got an okay. Then when you get the when when it starts looking good, they cut off the game, and then you have to start over again. And that's the difference between the Nintendo is absolutely doing right now. The graphics aren't like blow your socks off uh but they have all the content and i think that's really that's really all people want is just the content and the options 
Um, yeah, they're they're failing, and this is why fighting games have a great opportunity in next gen. And so far, NetherSoft is the only one doing it. Yep. Besides Nintendo, um, the, the Ultimate with Rambo and Arnold and RoboCop. Come on, yeah. and then all that single player content. I'm surprised they haven't added a uh, Pennywise it clown yet. Oh yeah, I feel like he would a fighter that they'd add since they have you know Freddy and Jason, or they've done those before. Right. I feel like he'd be. Did a it, didn't they like? Wasn't he rumored at one point? Oh, he was probably. Uh, him and Ash from Evil Dead, and uh, John Wick. He's like an obvious character to me to put in the game. <laughs> Who Ash? Oh uh, no! Uh, well, well, no. Oh, oh, Pennywise. Yeah, Penny? yeah, Pennywise. Yeah. 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 Wait, that would be really cool. Is a balloon. It pops. There he is. Oh and, yeah! Like, that would be amazing. <laughs> you, you just sold it to me. Yes. <laughs> That's just how I picture the whole thing. Yeah. And then he can also transform into whatever. Like I feel like it'd be like it, it's kind of like Scarecrow from Injustice too. You know, it, it, I think it'd be just as great. Right. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, he he was actually. I'm reading about it now that he was actually rumored to be an MK MK11, and uh, Ed Boon did tease Pennywise. So. I, I wonder if we're gonna get a tease from Ed Boon at the Video Game Awards because they, you know, they're working on something. I heard rumors. I mean, they're rumors that they're thinking about another MK versus DC. Can you imagine if they did that? Oh, oh yes, yes. Next gen MK versus DC. That would make sense on the buildup, you know, for Injustice and Mortal Kombat. It's gonna mash again. That'd be so cool. I mean, that they're they're working on something. I don't know if they. I don't think they'll jump into Mortal Kombat 12. I think they'll do. My speculation is that they have one more season prepared, so they have constant income. They have another season of characters while they launch a new game. And then they have that season. So Mortal Kombat 11 will get another season. I, I'm, and, and then, and then, well, in the in the interim, we'll probably get Injustice three. Uh, Injustice three or MK versus DC three. I think it's more likely that DC may uh, let them do it again. Yeah. Uh, they ex Joker, especially, especially now, and I'm going to tell you, especially now with the mortal with the new Mortal Kombat movie coming out next year. Yeah, and also Justice League. Like, yeah, perfect. yeah. So maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe, uh, maybe it'll be. And here's something that I, I was just thinking of, and I and I know it, it may have sounded weird, but the point you brought it up: Zack Snyder's Justice League versus Mortal Kombat. Oh yes. man. I would love it. I mean, you. I mean, you would we'll, have you we'll would have all the Zack Snyder iterations of the characters well, people, up against people, Mortal people Kombat. Don't, characters. People don't even DC fans do not remember this. I'm a DC fan and a Ed Boon and more, just like you, Zod Rider. Uh, he was supposed to have a be on a panel with The Rock for what was it? What was the DC event? Uh, Fandom. Oh they, yeah. They announced it, and then it never happened. Ed Boon did not show up with The Rock. Rock still had his thing, but Ed Boon was not there. Okay. So I, I'm he's gonna he's gonna have to announce something sometime. I hope we yes. get it soon, especially since Ultimate uh, we got all those characters now released. Uh, they have to they have to announce it soon. I'm I'm really I'm really looking forward to that. That would be. Um, that would be one of the ones. So, we're... so what would the next one be called if they? Because if they just released Ultimate, Ultimate is usually the last one. So, so the next well, this one. Fighting so, games. so this one would be Ultra Ultimate. <laughs> yeah. It, it, so it'll either be yeah yeah it'll be infam infinite <laughs> infinite <laughs> all infinite <laughs> Ultimate Super Ultimate. <laughs> yeah. Infinite Edition. <laughs> right. No, they, yeah. they got they got oh, no 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 you know what it'll be you know what it'll be correction it'll be just like injustice injustice 2 it'll be legacy edition mm -hmm. i i i'm still gonna i also am gonna still i've been diving deep into the fighting games i still gotta do my game i i gotta just record today and then worry about the gameplay later like do a, a meeting with the camera and my game stack show all the great games fighting games you could play on your series x right now backwards compatible on uh, my top five, and then show some great gameplay. 
Uh, there's some great ones in there. In jo- the original Injustice, uh, I actually kind of prefer that. Uh, I do too. He, I do too. He, I prefer he, the original have, to the second game. They have a Zod skin from Man of Steel too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry Cavill for Man of Steel as well. Yeah, and, I didn't uh, see that you, one. I got to check be, out that one. You could be Ben Affleck's Batman. Yeah, I, I, I just I like that you could be Doomsday. And I thought Bane. I, I think Bane looked better in the second one than he did in the first one. <laughs> Wasn't he like jacked in the first one? Bane? I kind of like that though. <laughs> I, 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 I like the way they. Like, over time, he gets bigger, you know. Like, okay, okay. <laughs> so that's what I like. Yeah, Doomsday was in the first one. Yeah, Doomsday was that one. That was my character in that one. Uh, they also had Lobo. Lobo is a good character. Yeah, Lobo was cool. Uh, there's uh, some back- characters that just dropped. Yeah. That one. And so. I just I didn't like the whole gear system, and the gear looked funky in the second one. Like, mm-hmm. I wish that I could just like like you know put the gear pieces on, but you know change what I want instead of like upgrading that piece to what it needs to be. You know, yeah. <laughs> I want to customize yeah. my, make that my guy. I don't want to have to like put this on because it's so much better because it gives me better stats. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get into that whole gear system too. I gotta, I gotta keep playing it though. But I was enjoying p- popping in all those fighting games, see how they look on uh, Series X. Um, so one thing I liked about MKX was the different variations of of the character that you could choose from. Like, do you want to specialize in this, or do you want to be like a swordsman or a hellfire or whatever? Like, you know, whatever. Uh, yep. MKX uh, XL is on my game stack list uh, because it's a, it's a it's a great Mortal Kombat game. Uh, it's more fast paced than just more. It, it has all over top, but it's like they actually slowed MK11 down to be more uh, precise and uh, and um, hardcore. Like they 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 toned it down a little bit, so it's a little bit more realistic with the way people move. Sometimes in in XL they're just like you know like super fast, which is fun. So it's it's a definitely uh, a hidden gem on backwards compatibility. Don't forget about XL. Smoke uh, in that game. Smoke. I think so. Yes. It's okay. Cool. Yeah, I can't remember. I love that character. And then they brought Noob back in that game. Mm-hmm. I didn't really like him that much. I didn't like his look. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was nine. I think it was. I think he looked pretty. But yeah, <laughs> so uh, we've reached the one hour mark. We'll wrap it up here. We appreciate all of you for coming out. Ali, especially you. Love it when you come out. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, you can definitely check out Mad Max's video for the controller configs if it's to see if they work on the Xbox Series X. The link is in the description. It's the first link. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. And we hope to catch you all next week on PlayStation Podcast Episode 12 on the Mad Max Movies YouTube channel. Right, pow, pow. And, then, and then I got to get to, I got to record uh, us fighting injustice at some point. I got, I got to stop the last tournament. Yeah, <laughs> I hope we have a tournament. That'd be so yeah. cool. Yes, I thanks for tuning in, guys. We hope to catch you on the next one.